What is going on everybody? Vex30 here coming with a new video and today we are playing the new champion Vatu. And in the same style as our last Grok video, we're going to give this a really good try. We're going to show off the build, we're going to give our first impressions, and then we're going to jump right into the gameplay with Vatu. If you guys want to see the changes in the patch and see the new champion Vatu, be sure to check down in the description for the patch notes. If you like this video, be sure to comment, like, subscribe, do all that fun things. Help me out a little bit with the channel. I appreciate it. I love you guys for all the support lately. We have been growing. We are back on pace and we are growing like we were before. So I really do appreciate it. And if you really want to support me, go check me out over on my Twitch where I stream typically at 7 p.m. EST. But without further ado, let's talk about this Vatu build. Hey you. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Did you know there is now Vex30 merch? You can show off your favorite support main with style on the street with the classic V line. Be sure to check down below in the description for the link. Just a quick heads up, if you want to skip over the build and the first impressions, the timestamp will be down below in the description. All right, so when I say build, actually this time I want to introduce talking about some of the talents and some interesting early impressions about the talents and builds that I had. So let's first talk about enveloping shadows. Reduce the cooldown of your basic abilities by 15% after hitting an enemy with at least one kunai. This can activate once per throw. So this is the talent we are using this game and I believe this is his best, but I also have a theory that one of his other talents, which we'll talk about in a second, might actually be better than this in certain scenarios, which I'm not sure what, but I think it might be better. I like Enveloping Shadows because it helps his mobility and Vatu is a very mobile champion. As you can see in the description, it is probably my favorite thing about him. But let's talk about this other one and explain why I think it might be better. Unerring. Increase explosion radius of shadow bombs by 5 units, which is honestly kind of irrelevant, but and now they home to enemies. So with Vatu, when you go in on somebody, it is very very important what i found so far to hit your bombs and get that damage or else you're not going to kill anybody his damage is kind of lackluster without it and if you throw bombs on somebody get up on them and hit a kunai burst two kunai bursts with the bombs they die pretty much instantly but if you're not hitting the bombs then it really isn't feeling good so there's a chance that this talent might be better than enveloping shadows but it's something I have to play around with more and just see but let's talk about the build we ran we ran contemplation five heal after dash it's a very nice heal and if you're resetting your dashes all the times with the enveloping shadows it does well extraction 20 percent movement speed tranquility 90 percent jump height memento uh, of, 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 of 80 percent or sorry 80 health and then shadow garot and it's just basically increased ultimate charge after you hit somebody with an ultimate so this build the idea behind it is to play around developing shadows, and when you hit at least one kunai, it reduces the cooldown of your dash and your other abilities. So, contemplation, you're constantly getting more heals with more dashes and with more cooldown reduction. It just it's a a really good feedback loop. The card extraction, increased movement speed after dash, same thing. It's a very nice feedback loop. You're getting more dashes, you're getting more mobility, you're getting more cooldown reduction with the talent, so it works really well. Tranquility increased jump height. I think this card is okay on certain maps. I made use of it here on Jag, but I don't know if it's the best and I'm thinking about replacing it and maybe making a build specific for Tranquility for certain maps as I find use cases of it, like with Jag jumping up in the window without having to use a dash, you know, certain things like that. Uh, increased base health is just something that is good on all champions, survivability, of course. And then Shadow Gura, I don't know a good one point card for him since his cards all scale really well higher. Um, so I'm just trying to figure out a one point card right now. That's just what I'm using for now, but that's the build Let's go ahead and talk about our first impressions about him. So Vatu overall I really do like the design and it feels like Hyrus is starting to lean back towards mobility again as you saw in the description Vatu is the comeback of mobility in Paladins Overall mobility has been nerfed over time and for my OG Paladins players who are here for the Drogos gliding and the Bomb King juggling it is nice to have a return of a champion who is highly mobile, and I understand why they moved away from it for the more casual players, but Vatu does his mobility in such a way that 
When you're watching Avatu or playing as him, the animations are so clean that the player facing you are able to tell where exactly your dash is going. And that's super important to balance mobility plus helping new players and inexperienced players deal with mobility that Vatu has. So I really like the design overall. His damage does feel a bit underwhelming if you miss your bombs or miss one kunai. So you are all or nothing. You were able to get out with your dashes, but if you have to expend two, maybe three dashes to get in on somebody, I don't think it's worth going in. His poke isn't great, so I don't know if he's top tier, though he does feel really fun to play overall. I like Vatu, and I really hope um, we really see some good Vatu players coming out in the next month and some really good builds floating around. But without further ado, let's go and jump into this game because this game was intense. Dang. Oh, no, dude. <laughs> uh. I was hoping to make plays there. I got sniped though. Wait. Wait, no, that was. Wait a second. There's no streaks in this game. Enemy double kill. Enemy triple kill. Oh, what? Where did my autos go? Oh, bro. I got fucked. Bro, my FPS feels like shit again. Hi, Rez. Oh my god, that timing was tragic. Unfortunate. I can't dash to her. She just gets a free auto on me. Wait, do I do damage to myself with my shadow bombs? That's what it looked like there. Got to see back in balance. Oh, I appreciate it. Uh, Scotchy. No. Ooh, tough. Pluck? Yep. That's big damn. It does damage? Okay. So we gotta be careful of that. If I uh, right click somebody, I can't sit on their face. Oh god. Point's just over. Seven, six, yeah, it is. Five, four, three, two, Enemy killing Those who abandon their people Bro, Devin, stop spamming, please. I'm gonna have to mute you if you I can't. Nice, good deal. Let's go team! 
Oh, that's tough. Whenever you damage yourself, it spawns. I wonder if they're going to fix the, um... Am I lagging? I feel like a weird delay once I dash, so like right here. Maybe not anymore. Maybe it's just uh, there for a second, but... No, it's not there anymore. Five, four, <laughs> three, two, one. Ultimate is ready. All attack right now. <laughs> Bro, stop the touch. Let's go. No. Thank you, No! <laughs> no! I know Makoa saw me, but I thought it was just Makoa, bro. And I was hoping he would have chased me around the corner. I could push. Loading every shot. Yo, I'm down for that. I The reload feels terrible, and I don't think he has an ammo card. So I'm definitely down to try Death Dance here. The eater itself? Yeah, she went right off the map. That was so funny. Alright, Vatu. You think he sounds like Genji? No, not at all. Not at all. He is nowhere near Genji. Bro, Death Hands is actually sick on him. I think Death Hands, you get like Death Hands too. I think that's the play. Five, four, three. I have no two, idea. One. I have no idea if I'm gonna play Furia. Okay. Uh. 
Hmm. I whipped. No, I whipped my last shot. Are these patch notes? Yes, there are patch notes. You still think that? Uh, it's still better than Solar Blessing. I think it'll always and forever be Solar Blessing unless Solar Blessing... Or Solar, it's always and forever be better than Solar Blessing unless Solar Blessing gets a drastic change to it. No. Wait, what? She wasn't even looking at me. What the fuck? That was weird. I didn't think I was in that there. I know, Clutch. I still think it's way better, Cherish. How many champions in the game? Um, I have no idea. A lot. No. I'm gonna go Death Hands 3. I wanna see how it feels with Death Hands 3. I feel like it's gonna feel kinda nice. Let's see. Oh, bro. Oh. It's so hard to keep up on autos when I'm right next to people. I'm so bad at it. The legend almost ended you. Yo, I know, right? <laughs> if I didn't have a dash reset coming, I like I saw my life flash before my eyes. Torch. Get ulti. Yo, later, designer. How's it feeling so far? I like him so far. I think you have to. You have to run enveloping shadows. If you don't, you're throwing. I think every else, everything else is trash. I think this is the only good talent for him. Oh, unfortunate. I don't have health. Is that the new champion? Yeah, it is. Oh, oh, you hit those. Nice. Do we need to get this person off point? Bro, I think Deft Hands. I think Deft Hands is actually the play on this guy. I think you have to run it, because the reload speed kind of feels bad. But, like, it's kind of sick. Not gonna lie. Gonna get some blast shots and Haven here. Counter up bot to Willow. Ash, easy clap. You make him look so fun. Yeah. It's because he's fun. Like he is so fun. You gotta try him. It it is 
it's actually a blast. Like I was the first game I played with him, um, was awful. I had I did not have a fun game. It wasn't fun at all. Um, but like now that I have the right talent, it feels amazing. Oh, rip Grok, dude. Okay, we'll just fall back. We're vibing. We're vibing. We're vibing. We're vibing. Still vibing. Still vibing. Oh, fuck. I was hoping I could kill Willow one time. Also, I definitely thought I was about to ult off the ledge. I had like a that panic moment. I had like shock and fear in my heart. Enemy killing I am healed. Enemies flanking. Okay, yo, Chad Mad. Oh, you're nuts. No, we didn't touch fuck. Enemy double kill. Get out of here. Don't think we do though. On the flank. I'm stuck. I am healed. Hesitation. No way I dashed that. I dash in reg. Fuck. Nice hook. I was hoping I could take space. So they couldn't like just full zone us. But that was not the case. I just had to end here, I think. Bro, we pulled their team, we pulled their team. I think if Batu's Q went to the side or back, it'd be way better. But right now, it feels a bit underwhelming. Not gonna lie. You mean any champion? I made supports. I'm fast as fuck, boy. Or side of all. Ooh, we had ulti, that's fine. I don't think they push off that. Because we just killed Makoa, so. Let's see. No, bro. He's just better. <laughs> Dude, I, uh, with low sense, it is so hard to play this champion. I like, if I get close to people, my aim just becomes worse. You're rotating after this game? I'm not sure. I'm either gonna, yeah, I'll probably rotate after this game or go play some ranked. I don't know if ranked's up, but. You mean Domba right? No, I just made all supports. I'm like. I would consider myself very proficient in every support. He god support you. Damn right you said it, not me. Yeah, I consider myself uh, pretty good at supports. Uh, you know, I was once a professional at supports, you know? But all you Zoomers out there wouldn't know. It's back in the good old days. Five, four, three, two, one. 
Is worst search size Pip in your opinion? I wouldn't say Pip is the worst support. I would say, I don't know who's the worst support now. Off the top of my head, probably Genos. It depends on what context. Main supporting Genos. Um. I need some dashes. Fuck, our team's just dead. I didn't get anything done. I was useless. Woo, nice shot. I was useless there. I should've just faced them. It has to be Pip? No. I wouldn't say. I'd say Pip. I'd rather have a good uh, Pip. And again, it depends on the context. Oh, Timur's died on point. Damn. I thought we made enough space. We did pretty good damn there. I think we could have done more, though.